Well folks, we're taking down summer. Thought you might want to see what we're putting up for fall. Right here on my take on Home and Garden. Hey guys, you know the routine. We gotta take down summer so we can put up fall. I'm just gonna start out by showing you how I like to get going, lay things out. I got several trays and baskets I like to use. And you know, I've talked about this shelving, little bubbly pad before. This makes a nice non-skid surface for your things. Alrighty, what's gotta go? Huh, as bad as I hate to take anything down, you know, it's tough. Let's look at what we gotta take. Our beautiful pansy plates, dessert or luncheon plates by Duchess of England. Okay, now I'm gonna you know I'm gonna put something in between each one. We're gonna have a paper, a napkin, a foam sheet, a bubble, wrap, and then I'm gonna do the same. They're wonderful. Royal Albert violets. And our Royal Albert again, yellow roses. So these all have to come down. They're gonna go in the pantry or they're gonna go up in the storeroom with shelves that you saw. I've got a ton of work, you can see. But you also see a smiling face because it's not a job, it's fun. It's moving on through the year and it's gonna be good. So let me get this done for you and caught up so we can decorate. Guys, we're all cleared off. I'm going to wipe the last shelf. What's he going to do this year? Well, it's all on the table. <laughs> all laid out on the table. And I want to just show you and explain how I think and how I start. We're going to showcase something that's really going to work today which is our great friend Ruth Parks and her collection of Indian tree that she sent us. I call it hers, but she gave it to us, you know. <laughs> She's so cute. And right away, I added to it and we got the come up with the teapot and the cream and sugar. You remember if you watched our video. Now I'm going to start with some formal balance. You know how I talk. Right here is a focal point. The first shelf that's going to take these. Really cute, right? Those of you who joined us late or don't recognize this pattern, it's Indian Tree by Spode. I know Ruth's been waiting a long time to see 
<laughs> sit here. <laughs> oh, roofs are too beautiful. Check it out. Now that I've done that side, I'm going to key off of that with the spode and see what I need. Now I know I need a lot for that teapot and the cream and sugar, but I think I can get a luncheon plate up and behind. Which I want to do because I want to me you anybody you want to show off everything that you can for the season now here's that wonderful cream and sugar in that before 1960 wonderful pattern and color oh man Rosie don't crack don't you crack on us. <laughs> this is really looking cute. Now what do we have for them? We have some big stuff. We have mud men. We have Buddha. With the children. <laughs> this is pretty cute. This is how he's depicted all the time. Now he's a heavy anchor, so we're going to put him down here on that shelf and I'm going to do that again. On the opposite side. Then, you know, we always have the wonderful eggs. I think I'm going to put one each and then we're going to start drifting off of formal balance so hard to pick what plates we're using four of those mm. ginger jar will do an offset with one maybe we'll put another one in the corner like that they get covered a bit, but as you move around the table or the room where I run the camera around, nothing's hidden, nothing's covered up. This beautiful Oriental Cocoa Pot that came from Dunn's Attic a year and a half ago, not this new trip. That's something I'm going to show you in a second. <laughs> oh, look at this. Now, I love to do an eclectic grouping. Always got to pick and choose and decide <laughs> what else I want to do. I better keep to my temporary formal balance, and that'll help fill in the shelves and get something done, really. We have our fabulous Hound and Fox picture, okay, by Minton of England. This is exactly why I wanted it. The colors in it for fall. And I'm sure the fox hunt is in the fall. Even though I've never been on one. Now we have some cool mud men to feather in. Let's look at mud men. There's different sizes, so I really like that about them. The bigger ones are going to go toward the bottom. Also, I have the Chinese mathematician guys, which I really like. <laughs> Maybe they'll go down here. I want the Bavarian reticulated fruit plates, which have not went up yet because we just got them this year, you remember. Just nuts about those. We're gonna stagger that. 
reticulated pattern. All righty. Room for one more. I guess this, <laughs> this is gonna wanna be it. Cause it's so much like those. Too cute now. Just like you, this is the first time I get to see these too. See, this doesn't just fall together. I usually do not have to change something I've done, but you know, you're gonna if you don't like it. You have every right to take your time and look it over. What else we got? I got eight fruit plates to put up. Wonderful Bavarian fruit plates. We got apples, grapes, pears, strawberry, filberts, peaches, everything for fall. Fruit and nuts. That's why these work so darn good. Look at those. Almost a repeat on the opposite side. Okay, so cooking supper and finishing up here at the same time. And I made a wonderful chicken cacciatore, or I call it, to tease the kids, I say, chicken italiano. So pepper onions and multiple peppers and diced tomato with Italian seasoning and that'll go over depending on if you're keto or mosquito or regular that goes over a bed of egg noodles for two of us and a bed of cauliflower for one of us so I'm just finishing up Looking at colors, textures, I want to feather in a little bit of this amber glass. And I'm looking at my colors and just seeing how everything looks together. Now before I go and take you all around, I want to point out some real changes that need to be made once I stood back and took a look at what was going on. This Indian tree design is so dominant. I was trying to feather in other designs with it and I'll tell you, some of it, I had to take it away. Move the egg down to the second from the bottom shelf and probably this cocoa pot may have to go. And we are featuring the Indian tree. So it's just funny how dominant it is. I'm gonna lift these luncheon plates to the next level, like I did on the other side. Now I'm close to being able to take you and show you all around. Thank you.
So folks, I'd like to thank Ruth Parks for making this incredible 
interesting, challenge, more exciting, <laughs> but really to a different level. And it's amazing what they did to my thinking and making me reapply what I know, color and balance and decorating. Thanks guys for coming over. Give us a like, a share, a comment. Send a buddy. We're gonna be back and I think we're gonna be decorating another area. Maybe we're doing a table. I do have a fall cook with me though. Never know what's coming. Be good, take care, thanks guys. And check out that store and that store. Etsy store and our spring store for fall goodies. Thank you. See you soon.